My name is David. I'm a Coldplay Frontier from the Genesis Group. Today, I want to give you guys some Coldplay news. This one is really good. So let me read this for you. Yesterday, we introduced an article analyzing that the price of Coke, Coke rose by a whopping 2,205% in 2021. Today, we would like to release the transaction volume details that were presented in the data. The cryptocurrency market grew significantly last year. Many new coins were introduced and most of the already existing cryptocurrencies were spent, um, splendidly revived by renewing their all-time high prices, accompanied by an explosive rise in trade volume. In the second half of the year, the growth rate in the trading volume slightly slowed down, but Coke's trading volume continued to increase. From July to December of 2021, the average trading volume of Coke increased every month except October. Significantly, in August 2021, there was an there was a 89.84% rise from the previous month that was further followed by a 73.69% rise in November. During this period, the transaction volume of leading cryptocurrency Bitcoin rose by 24.46% and the second biggest Ethereum dropped by 17.9%. Meanwhile, Coke's transaction volume increased by striking 162.45%. When comparing Coke transactions with the current number one payment token, Crypto.com, Coin, CRO, Coke's transactions in the last two months exceeded CRO's. And since December 8th, Coke's seven-day moving average has been approximately 1,500 transactions higher. Okay, okay. Is currently providing content and shopping services that support payments within the platform. In 2022, our goal is to support offline payment services with medium pay, medium pay, and become the number one payment token in the world. We will constantly strive to become a better platform with increasing volume and recognition. Thank you. Now, this is awesome. Remember, the number one payment token in December, from December 8th, CoCoins were actually making more transactions with the Coke tokens. All right. And this is very significant and important because remember with Coke Play, the more we transact, the more coins they or tokens they actually burn. And because they're burning more tokens, that means the current value of the pre or of the existing tokens after the ones that are being burned are burned, those tokens will go up in value in nominal terms to, you know, compared to currency. And you have to think as more people are using these tokens for transactions is drawing it's bringing in more people to invest and put money to stake in or to hold coke tokens coke coins okay and that is why if you oh, i'm sorry folks let me let's go to kucoin that is why if you look at bitcoin this is how Bitcoin's chart looks like. It got slaughtered. Okay. I don't care. Look at Ethereum. Got slaughtered. They all look like this. But when you look at CoCoin, voila, CoCoin looks like that. All right. So why is it that every time CoCoin has these beautiful moves up, they're not dropping or you might have wicks which are really just buying opportunities and you don't see the prices falling off a cliff or stair stop you know stair stepping its way down like bitcoin over here and ethereum and all the other altcoins why why is that you have to wonder how that is well the reason why that is is because you have people oh it's moving up beautiful anyway you have people going into cocoin where they see that it is really they're investing i think a lot of people involved in coke um on the platform and who are you know staking 
and you know they're they're buying coins from different exchanges. Actually, they're trying to invest. They're holding it for the long term, and also you have a large pop porsche a population of those who are holding co tokens that are actually using them for transactions. And so, because remember, they're making. They're using them for so many transactions. They're, you got more cold coins being used for transactions than um, the number one or the so-called number one payment token. And so because you have such a large popul uh, po portion of people holding cold tokens using for actual transactions, which draws in more people to buy cold tokens, which will push up the price and as more people are using for transactions, more tokens are getting burned. So that itself also pushes up the price of co-coins. And that's why when you see Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these other altcoins just stair-stepping their way down, co-coin continues to keep a stable price. Y'all understand it? I hope y'all understand it. And that's why co-coin is beautiful. That's why I love co-coin. Anyway. Now, also, so I just want to share that. All right, it is becoming the number one payment token. Now, here uh, for this PT program, remember, I always, you guys notice in my videos, I say, please take good care of yourself physically and also spiritually. And, you know, yeah, y'all need to really take good care of yourselves physically because if you look at um, right now with, with COVID, you normally if you are not in good physical shape you have a higher percentage rate of passing away after getting that disease and so you want to be in good physical shape all right you want to be in good physical shape so here uh cocoin platform they have you know, made this special program for people to, you know, join an online PT program to get in good shape. Now, I'm not saying they're doing it because, you you know, specifically so you'll be in better shape in case you get COVID. I'm not saying that, but they, they're doing because they do want people to be in good shape. Obviously, that's why they're doing this. Also, they're giving opportunities, you know, um, Yudi and, and Youngwoon and Bang Yu and Xin Chung Wu and Xia, I don't know, and Muna Workout. Well, you know, the, 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 the PT trainers, um, your co plays giving opportunities for new people to, you know, make a living in, in a harsh atmosphere of a COVID economy, right? And so obviously they're giving opportunities for PTs you know, personal trainers to make a living because it's been tough. It's been really tough on on gyms and personal trainers, really tough. And also, this is a great opportunity for people to get in good shape. Please get in good shape, okay? And I'm going to explain how big or how important it is to get in good shape. Okay, it is really important. Um, okay. Let's say uh, people who died from the flu in Korea in 2018, okay? Please check this out. This is crazy, all right? This is... Influenza and pneumonia. Influenza and pneumonia put together. Put together. This is in 2018. So according to the latest WHO data published in 2018, influenza and pneumonia deaths in South Korea, that's one year, reached 18,632 or 7.52% of total deaths. I guess maybe for that year. The age-adjusted death rate is 21% or 21 per 100,000 of the population of Korea. 
And remember, with 18,630 people who died in one year, that's a lot of people dying in one year. Korea was ranked 114th in the world. 114th in the world, okay? That means 113 other countries had over 18,632 deaths in one year from influenza and pneumonia, all right? And you think I'm... Because <laughs> one thing about Korea, I don't know about why, maybe it's some weird Asian thing about... Uh, in, in, in Korea and Japan, or you know, obviously other countries have this problem, but like Korea's rank was in 2018. This is no laughing matter, I shouldn't be laughing. Was ranked number 10 for suicide. 13,677 people in South Korea died from suicide in 2018. We're ranked number 10. Okay, Whew, that's a big number right there. But when it came to Influence on pneumonia, 18,632 people died. Yes? Okay, you, you all see that? All right. Now, why am I saying health is so important and why you should get in good shape? Check this out. Um, new... Ah, sorry. COVID. Cases Korea. Okay. Please look at this. The total deaths. The total deaths from numbers called COVID-19 because COVID started in the year 2019. Yes. The total deaths in South Korea from 2019 to 2022 from COVID-19 is 6,540. Okay, so 2019, but now you can't really, I don't really want to count the year 2019 because it kind of started in December or like November. I can't remember if it's October, November, December, but started towards the end of 2019. But I think it really got into Korea around, maybe it did came in towards December, but anyway, we, we really caught it in 2020. So 2020 and 2021, those are two full years of COVID-19 in Korea, where we had 734,000 cases, I, I guess, in total, yet 600, I mean, 6,540 people died in two full years of COVID-19. Okay, just 6,540 people. But when it came to influenza and pneumonia, you had 18,632 people die in one year, and that was only ranked 114. That means 113 other countries had more deaths from influenza and pneumonia than Korea. All right, or at least that's how I'm, I, I'm expecting. It, it, could, they, it could be maybe they're using it by rate. Or percentage maybe if a country had less people that died but they had a higher percentage rate maybe then they're ranked higher I'm not exactly sure how they worked it but I'm just saying just think of it like that though right okay so why is it why is it that South Korea only had 6,540 people die in two years of COVID-19 and to me I really think I really think health had a big issue that, you know, in Korea people, I lived in States, like I grew up in the States. Okay. I, I grew up in the States. I, I, you know, from kindergarten to, you know, graduating university it's in the States. And I lived there 23 years straight before I came back to Korea. And one thing I noticed in Korea people is a healthier culture. Uh, people tend to be, it, and it's not about young people. It's really, I'm thinking about the older people. And when I look at older people, uh, they tend to be in better health than, you know, older people in the States. And that's surprising because if you know much about Korean culture, a lot of the men, they do a lot of smoking and drinking uh, because it's like a cultural thing at work. Now, like for me, I don't drink, I don't smoke, but I'm saying a lot of men do. And so even then with that, they still seem to look and seem healthier than, you know, the older men in America. And so, and the woman as well, women seem to be much healthier. And so, 
that's why I'm saying, please take good physical care of yourself. You want to eat right. You want to exercise. Exercise is very important. Okay. So I think this event is really, I recommend it. You know, if you're not going to the gym, you're not going out to exercise, you want to stay home, cool. You know, I'm not, I'm just, as I say in my other videos, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I, I'm not your, you know, doctor. I'm not telling you what to do. But yeah, uh, staying in shape does help. Okay, I just showed you in 2018, more people die from influenza and pneumonia than from COVID-19 in two years. And in one year, more people die from influenza and pneumonia by like three times almost than by the two years of people dying from COVID. Why? Because people, it's just, you know, people are healthier. They're in better shape. And I guess maybe they're taking more precautions, um, safety precautions maybe. I don't know. That's an if. But I do believe uh, people are healthier. And so being healthy will help you survive any disease all right so i think this is awesome i think it's great um one thing i like about the event is if you if you if you join this event if you look at the bottom look at number three number three says if you finish 100 of key fits exercise program before april 30th 2022 you will receive a generous prize through a lottery what i really love about that is really they're trying to get people to finish the workout it's like they're giving you motivation to to finish the workout. And it's like they're giving you a prize to help you stay healthy. <laughs> I mean, you, that's a lot of love from Coke Play. Coke, you know, so Coke Play, the platform, the CEO, all of them, the brains behind the operations. God bless them. I mean, um, they're great. Those guys are great. Um, even the the big promoters of coke play like uh, lady coke play and everyone else the, the the real big players behind um advancing the coke play network uh worldwide like god bless you i mean you guys are doing a phenomenal job but and think about it they're trying to re they're, they're rewarding you just so you'll finish the workout for your own benefit <laughs> i mean you can't beat that so yeah i want to um just put that out there and also definitely talk about how coke play the tokens is, is starting to become the number one payment token in the world, all right? And and that's definitely beneficial because it's going to draw in more people and they're going to burn more coins. That means the, um, the, the combination of more people buying tokens and um, the platform burning tokens will keep the prices up. And that's why despite all the other co um, coins or tokens going down a freaking cliff in terms of prices... Uh, Coke Play is steady, and actually, if you look now, I mean, shoot, it's, it's moving up, <laughs> you know, so that's a beautiful thing. All right, everyone, um, please take good care of yourselves, okay? You know, stay in shape. Here's a great way to stay in shape, okay? Key Fit Online PT program, and also, you know, you just want to stock up on some essentials and maybe... A little extra for you know your your family friends neighbors yeah and of course please take good spiritual care of yourselves mental care of yourselves okay praying for i am praying for all y'all please do the same for me god bless y'all and coke on